They say when you're surrounded by infinity, make any wish and it will come true. So I'm going to find some infinity. There will be a world where you're all safe. What is that all over him? I think I really am in the last stretch. Automatically producing singularities. Yeah, I'm, I'm pushing my limits on diamond. Uh, where then does the nickel catalyst go? It is next to Enderium on the far left in one. Seven left. Okay, looks like that diamond's up to full speed now. And yep, it's replenishing quite quickly. Not quickly enough, I'm definitely going to have to make more. Uh, how much for, let's see, it's another 40 seeds. I can actually afford that, yep. Get to work on that then. Oh, I do need a redstone singularity. Oh, I've only got 15,000 redstone, that's not... That's not much. I suppose it's making it made tons of blocks, but why is that not going up more? Because it is not getting any more redstone dust essence, or at least not much compared to. Oh no, I suppose they're all low. All right, well that is definitely producing, but not as quickly as it should. I suppose this is one of the earliest I made. Does that mean it has no augmentations whatsoever? I am out of gold. Damn. Okay, I guess that's the Singularity's fault. It can't be, I'm not making a gold Singularity. Where the hell's the gold gone then? Didn't I... Did I, am I, did I just outstrip the use of it? No. I got seeds locked in here. Oh, damn. It is very tricky running what must have been a full-scale city-wide, nationwide, I don't know, massive bloody resource machine run by a single zombie. It is n <laughs> it's not easy to condense all of this down. Off the redstone goes. Uh, so that should fix that issue. I didn't, the issue I didn't realise was an issue. I keep discovering issues in my very flawed system. Now I better go turn off the nickel, because I think that is about run dry now. Whereas the quartz is still going strong, because it requires half as many to to um, make the block, and it requires half as many blocks per singularity. So that is... <laughs> See, that's what I thought would happen with the rest of these. I thought, yeah, I've got so much production, I could just set this up and it'll produce hundreds and hundreds and barely make a dent. Uh, then it does that. So I can probably start the iron again, because that's uh, so like up to uh, over 100,000. Sorry, 200,000. I think that's actually maxed out. I wonder if I can get clever here. Because I've got these detectors. Can I... Set this to emit signal when under, and I get, um, I'll just nick an iron ingot out of there. When iron ingots are less than 50,000. So let's just try it with over. That's now emitting a signal. And that has stopped outputting question is, has it stopped this one as well? If I set this to... Oh no, because that would have started again. So yeah, I think this is a good system. Wait. It has not stopped outputting at all. Okay, plan B. What if I have the detector next to it instead? Is that the right one? Yeah, it doesn't save it, that's fine. Output uh, 50,000. Oh, that's set to ignore. That's probably why that was doing nothing. Uh, only work without the redstone signal. So does that stop it outputting? It seems to. There's nothing in there at the moment. What about if this is set to under? I think this might work. 260,000 in there at the moment, and it's maxed out. If I have a little bridge to come out here. I can then access detectors, set them all up so that I don't need to keep coming up and turning them on and off manually. Let's make that 10,000. I'm not going to need 50,000, but 10,000 is a nice buffer. These are now all set all along the row to work 
only without the redstone signal, and uh, to emit the signal when below 10,000, although I think I will actually go through and change all of these to 5,000 as well. I don't think I'm going to need more than that at any one time. And now these will operate entirely independently. I just need to finish adding the compressors, and then this system is, is fully set up. Uh, how am I doing on neutrons? I'm doing pretty well on neutrons. Oh, hey guys. Ah. I made four neutron blocks and it seems I cannot get the neutrons back out of the blocks. That was unexpected. Next up is... Uh, I don't think I need glowstone. Is platinum really my next most populous? Okay, well, I think platinum's a 200, but I, uh, I'm i not certain of that. First of all, set the limiter, 5,000, and then stick it in there. And set this going. Platinum singularity is on the bottom row. Oh, it's only 80. Oh, that's even better. That is much cheaper to produce uh, and export. Wonderful. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll just go stick one of these in the machine. Middle on the bottom, right there. Next to steel block. Is that definitely the right place? Yeah, it is. Cool. Ah, oh, the platinum one does look really good. Hmm. I wonder if someday I'll get to use metal for decoration rather than just for, um, for <laughs> singularities. I'm now basically generating a pile of neutrons every second with how many I've got. This room is filling up very quickly. Oh, well, I missed some bit up here. Um, but yes, it, it's now got to such a point where it is basically one a second, which is amazing. I haven't heard from the moons in a while. Like, I, I've been upgrading this system now for... feels like weeks. But yeah, I haven't had to... A uh, blood or a uh, blue or even a, um, what's the other one? A harvest moon? Haven't had any of them for ages. Can I speed this up a bit? By putting more of these on. Is that, is that how it works? Does more of them make it go faster? That well, looks a bit faster. So it's about 1,300 neutrons per neutronium compressor plus the uh, the block. But I've got a couple of blocks now. I get the feeling there's going to be a flurry of activity. Just immense progress as soon as I hit the threshold of completing all of these. There are six left, and that's the compressor for another one. So when I do get it, I'm going to have like 20 just made almost immediately, and then things are going to slow back down again. Uh, 14 is the lowest. Yeah, I, I, all right, I'll install this compressor and then improve the copper system. And this one looks like it is lead. Very easy to install. I just need to hit there, hit there, and then set up the uh, crafting recipe. And this one is 300, so not quite the full 400, but still quite a bit. And this one goes uh, four in from the left. Right here. And if I'm not mistaken, that should fill... Yeah, that fills the gap there. Five left. That's why copper's lagging behind, because it is just using hardened components. No wonder it's the slowest. If I put six things of flux linkage uh, amplifiers, actually... Uh, hmm. Yeah, no, that's fine. And another one of uh, resonant then that way I will always have um, the amount I need to do two rows, which is basically all I'm using. Uh, that, that's by how many I improve it at a time now. Whoa! Why do I have 1.6k lead? Is that from when I use the digital miner? <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, not sure what I can do about that. Activate, activate. Three full maxed out rows of copper. Why do I have seeds spare? 
because I did not put seeds in this end one. Why do I always miss something? Hang on. I was wondering why the redstone hadn't significantly increased in production despite me putting on two extra rows. Why are 27 of them in there? And none are in these front two rows at all, so the f I completely forgot to put the seeds in the front two bloody rows before I turned them on. But what did I do wrong here? 27? Did I put in too many? I think I did. Right, yeah, no, I think I know what I did. Um, I put in, like, two extra... Basically, I put in uh, double the amount into the end row and none into either of these, is my guess. That should run smoother. Or, you know, at all. The next compressor. Well, I was going to go for lapis, but now the redstone's fixed, that has overtaken it. So it looks like redstone is the winner. And how many does it take to make redstone? 200. So that's not too bad either. And that one is in the top left. And I believe that should now be, what, three left? Four left still, okay. Uh, from memory, they are iridium. Uh, done... that's lead. Um, iridium. Ooh, Diamond, I think, has their own emerald. And one other, which one? Was? Lapis. Diamond, Lapis, Emerald, and it's gone again. Iridium. And the second compressor right away. This one I will have as Lapis, as that was the next numerous. In they go, and this one requires 200 like redstone does, so that also should not be too difficult. This one goes right next to redstone in the top left. Yes, I think that's right, top left. Yep, three left. Emerald, diamond and iridium. I'm fairly sure that one's iridium, so those are emerald and diamond. And my infinity catalyst is almost complete. How are we doing on these now? Over a hundred? Uh, 30, 20, 80. Yeah, obviously quartz has flown ahead. Alright, it looks like I'll be able to make, well, one block of infinity just straight away, because I need, uh, I believe, 11 of these. Uh, that is slowly catching up, though. Uh, what's the issue with nickel? Ah, it doesn't have the, um, the fluxed. From here I can see... My greatest achievements. My giant nuclear reactor. My SPS. And my automated extreme. I, I can't believe I got this far. <sighs> Not quite done yet. Off you go then. So I've taken uh, the spare nickel seeds out and I don't know that I need to double it up. To be honest, I don't know if I need to do any more doubling up. I'm hoping... I suppose I'll see when I start actually making the catalysts, which I... Well, not so much which I run out as soon as, because I'll be able to tell from the uh, singularities, but I'll be able to see which I need more of. Because now I have basically enough for, for two blocks of infinity, and I, I don't know how many blocks I need. I think I'm going to make the room smaller than I originally intended, but um, it'll still be a, a room of infinity, and I, I just sort of hope that's enough. I guess what I could do is, is there a cable anywhere near here? Uh, I don't I don't see one. I don't think cables came over to this side. Uh, what's above me? Oh yeah, okay, I can send a cable down here. Is that the right place? No, that's the wrong place. Here? Still the wrong place. What about here? Yep, that's a good place. Uh, just cover that up briefly. I'll have a cable come down here and export lead, raw lead, uh, export. Because I've got 1,600 raw lead and each of those is two ingots. And lead is sort of falling behind at the moment, so if I... Oh. 
it melted down clay from the terracotta. <laughs> That's awkward. Um, okay. I'll just stick the ingot cast in there and I guess get some bricks. That's interesting that that does that. Not intended. Um, Alright. I don't know what happened to the hopper. Did the hopper melt? I think the hopper probably melted. <laughs> okay. Yep, this is the problem with working with an active smeltery. Um, so if I put that there, and I... Oh, I have a little bit of raw copper still. Hey, Dash. Nice to have you hanging around here. And the cable will go up there and round the corner. So I'll just fill in the ceiling a bit. That connects there. So this should now... Oh, a bit too far. So that should now fill this thing up with lead constantly, which will then melt down and uh, go to power the singularities. Brilliant. It's nearly done. Yeah, it's exciting. So glad I built it so it can be seen from here. I'm glad you guys get to share in this. I know the others aren't as interested in it as you are, but I think we're of like a kindred spirit. We're both um uh we're, we're both we both like pipes. Yeah. I use these a lot. There. That should be the last block of neutronium I need. Uh, actually, do I? I might need blocks of neutronium for infinity. Uh, well, obviously, I don't need for the catalyst. I don't know why I checked that. I don't. I just need uh, one, two, three, four, five, twenty-four neutronium ingots, crystal matrix, no problem at all, and eleven uh, catalysts. Ooh. And that makes uh, one infinity ingot and then infinity block. No, it's really funny seeing the lights going on and off because most of them are sitting around the, uh, the, the 5,000 mark now. I could probably lower it a bit, frankly, but if this is basically the limit of it, I wouldn't be gaining much if I did. So the 5,000 is a nice buffer, but at the moment, these are now being used as quickly as they're being produced. But I do still have that buffer, so I'm, I'm very glad I did that. That, I think, made my life a lot easier. Unlife? Death? I don't know. Still don't really know the terminology. I suppose it's my terminology. If I'm the only one saying it, I'm the only one who needs to understand it. I'm basically just leaving a single line around this place. As this room slowly gets filled in. But hopefully this is going to be enough. If it's not, I don't think... Well, the, the nature of infinity is that infinity is never enough. There is never enough for infinity. It's infinity. But I need to make enough infinity to do the infinite. And that's, I guess, what I'm after? Emeralds are pretty good, but they have very, very slow production. Uh, iridium is also slowly going up, but diamonds are the main issue. I'm going to have to increase the diamond production again. I am using them a lot for the um, the collectors, and they are very nearly done, but I'm still... I'm, just, I'm not doing very well in diamonds. I haven't seen Polo for a little while. Has she happened to have gone under the floor again? Polo? Polo! What are you doing there? Why do you keep coming under the floor? I need to fix this so that you can't, because... Can you, can you climb out, please? Thank you, Polo. Polo. I need to sort this. I need to stop it so that she can't get under there. Right. This isn't in use anymore, so... I'm going to seal this up. There. She cannot get into the pipe now. Uh, she might be able to slip down there, and she can definitely slip down there. This one isn't in use anymore. Block that one up. Uh, I don't know if she can slip down past that one. Mm, block that up. Can she climb over that? 
Maybe. Mm. Yeah, I think she can. Block. Sorry, Kathy. Block that up entirely. Alright, so she should no longer... I'm polo-proofing the building. Yeah, if she can't get down that one, then she can't get down uh, this one, I don't think, because that's even thinner. So yeah, this should now be polo-proof. Ooh, I'm suddenly worried about her going down there. No, I think it's... Hmm. I think she has to, like, get alongside it and then drop in, but oh, I suppose she could do that here. Don't go down there. Like, if you're going to go downstairs, you take the ladder. Okay, Polo? Okay? Be careful. Okay? Be careful. I don't think there's anywhere else she could go. Yeah, all of this is sealed off. So hopefully that is now Polo-proofed. I'm going to make another 60, 57 uh, diamond seeds. And then I need to do another, another two rows because diamonds are... I was expecting the nether stars to be the uh, the thing that was holding me back. I was all prepared to fill an entire room full of them, especially at the half line, but nether stars are fine. It's diamonds because I need them for the lattice and for the singularities, which I haven't even got started on. There's another compressor. Should leave just two left. Hang on a sec. H hang on a sec. Have I miscounted? I haven't miscounted. There's no gold singularity. I just assumed there was. Wow. No, I needed gold for the record fragments, I think, but I... Wow, okay. That's just hit me. Because, like, uh, I just suddenly noticed, oh, gold's up here. I haven't used that. Osmium I obviously haven't used, but... Wow, all right. Emerald it is. Also, I've got 139 emerald blocks for some reason. I'm just going to turn those back into emeralds. Well, it's definitely producing 64. I'm not entirely sure why, but that's fine. Oh, uh, did I need them? I'm, I, th I probably needed them for the uh, the neotic or something. One of the, not neotic, a spirited crystal, I don't know. Anyway, emerald singularity. Third in from the right. There it is. So this should now leave just two empty spaces left. However, one of them is diamond, which is, yeah, proving very, very difficult to get. Very low on diamond. Diamond and iron. Who would have thought that they would be the two things that I needed the absolute most? Although, I don't think I did. I think the iron I overcompensated because I it was before I came up with this limiter system. And uh, that's now... How's the iron doing? Uh, that is that is going down still. So even at max speed, it goes back to... Oh, I'm at the top. It goes back to what I was saying, that it's never enough. I can never produce enough to fill infinity. So instead, I'll just have this system uh, to produce enough that I can still freely use it for my crafting while also making singularities. And uh, I'm going to have to do something similar with diamond, I think, because I need that for the lattice as well. But lattices, they're just six compared to the, like... Oh, actually, I didn't check how many this was. 200 blocks of emerald. Wow. Uh, all right, I better check how much it is for the... Diamond? 300 blocks. 300 blocks of diamond per singularity. That is going to hurt. This is an incredible system to see working at its peak. Like, they slow down here and then they just spread out. I'm very glad I upgraded this, and it looks a lot neater. That's so cool. Two more lines of diamond. They will take a little while to get up to speed, but then should help enormously.